sages, Parvati came to know through Narada that Ganapati lost his consciousness as Lord Shiva pulled him, tying him with the rope with nose. She got much angry. What will I do? Where will I go? Happened to do pralaya, she worried, thinking so. She created thousand shaktis from her. These shaktis prayed to Mahadevi. What should we do? Order us, they requested. Parvati Devi looked at them and ordered. Without thinking anything, you all destroy devas, sages, yakshas, asuras, everyone and create Mahapralaya. Do not differentiate if they belong to me or not. Like the Samhara at the end of Kalpa, like how Agni Deva with his flame tongue reduces to ashes everything that he comes across, like that everything occurred. Shakti is created by Parvati, but capable enough to swallow anyone who they come across, may it be Brahma, Vishnu, Rudra, Indra, Gubera, Surya or Subramanya, even without thinking who they are. Few of the Shaktis kept their mouth open, few looked terrible, few kept shaking their heads and they all fought in many different ways. On seeing that Samhara, Vishnu and other Devas and sages thought, Oh, this is like a Mahapralaya. This is not time for Pralaya. Our survival is very difficult. Oh, what will we do? This Mahapralaya will come to an end only if Parvati Devi has mercy on all. They said, at that time, one Shakti bet Lord Shiva heavily in his hip. So, Lord Shiva was much worried. He didn't even have strength to go and ask Parvati, What is this? Shakti is without knowing the status of people. Put everybody into trouble. Sage Narada thought of doing good to all Devas. He went to the place where Brahmadeva and other Devas were there. He discussed along with them as what to do. He said, now, only if Parvati Devi shows mercy, we all can be happy. At once, Deva said, Narata, you are the right person to do that. So, you yourself go and let her get rid of her angry and cool down. They requested to him using polite words. Narada went along with some sages to Parvati Devi. They all sang praises together. Jaganmatha, you are Prakriti Rupa. You meditate fasting. Daughter of Parvadaraja, Bhavani, Durga Samhari, you do all auspicious things for this whole world. You killed Sanda Munda. Katyayini, we pray to you. Namaskar, Namaskar. They sang so, praising her. Seeing them on hearing to that, Parvati Devi did not say anything. So sages got afraid. They fell on her feet and prayed to her, saying, Mother, Lord Shiva and we suffered much. So stop the destruction and cool down. We all were created by you. So you should forgive us and cool down. So Parvati Devi's heart melted. She opened up saying, this Samhara will stop once my son Ganabala wakes up from dizziness. Until then, this Samhara will go on. He stood alone and guarded the Andapura, even being a small boy, as I, his mother, ordered. You all stood together against him and waged war with him. That is not right. That is not justice. So, he should be first among all gods. Only then, the Samhara I do will stop, and you all will be in happiness. On hearing this, all Devas bid goodbye to her, and went to Lord Shiva, and said him all what happened. On hearing to that, Lord Shiva, Vishnu, along with the other Devas, thought very seriously. They all discussed, now it is very important that good things happen to you. So, it is right to act as Parvati Devi desires. They desired it so. After that, Lord Shiva thought of the mountain Dronachala to appear before him along with the Sanjeevi and other medicines. At once, that mountain came there filled along with Sanjeeva Karana and other herbs. Herbal air blew all around from it. So, Devas, sages and Ganas who were killed in the war, came back to life. Lord Shiva was stuck with grief on seeing Ganabala tied with rope noose. He took away that rope from Ganabala's body. He besmeared Ganabala's holy body with his holy hands. At once, Ganabala's dizziness got cleared 
and he woke up where is the iron pestle where is that vishnu who fought with me i should kill him he stood lifting the iron pestle devas including indra and sages including narada were all happy seeing gana waking up from unconsciousness narada looked at three dev gods lord shiva mahavishnu and brahma deva and said now you all should get done all what parvati devi asked on hearing this brahma deva and other devas said as how we all attained all our power with this grace of lord shiva so let gana also attain a fulfilled tejas through vedha mantras ganas yakshas vishnu including other devas said mantra and made gana leader for shiva ganas and did patabhishegam and crowned him they decorated him with dress and ornaments they took him to parvati devi and showed him parvati devi wished gana put her holy hand on his body and said son you got into trouble and have become fortunate now you were very keen in fulfilling your duty from today on you will be worshiped first senthur is there on your face so you will be happy with red sandal puja all what one desires will be fulfilled if they do puja to you with red flower sandal naivedya neer aarti tambool arkya pradakshina and namaskar this is for sure she said she called back the shaktis that she created earlier from her saying no more war is needed and repressed all in her immediately all devas got rid of their miseries and were happy everybody praised parvati devi they took lord shiva and made him sit with devi and made both of them happy made pillaya to sit on the holy thighs of lord shiva lord shiva kept his holy hands on pillaya's head and looked at devas and said he is my son at once ganesha got down from lord shiva's holy thigh stood opposite to lord shiva and parvati devi and prayed to them he folded his hands seeing the devas then looked at lord shiva and said deva deva you should forgive me for the things i did lord shiva looked at the devas there and said brahma vishnu as how we are done puja in the world this ganesha also should be done puja along with that if vinayaka has done first puja and then if we are done puja we will be happy whoever does not do puja to him their desires will not be fulfilled after that lord shiva himself did first puja to ganapati second vishnu third brahma deva fourth parvati and next all other devas did puja with much happiness lord shiva gave many boons to ganesha as you remove the obstacles you will be called viknahanda you are the head of all ganas you should become eligible to be done puja said lord shiva at once shiva ganas played the most auspicious musical instruments devalok ladies danced and played melodious music again lord shiva looked at ganapati and said during this month of patrapada that is the later half of september and former half of october and on a waxing moon day when moon is about to rise between evening 6 to 9 in the uchchasta graha panchaka yoga time parvati created vigneshwara so doing puja to vigneshwara during this time is most auspicious from that day on doing puja on every chaturthi day till next year of the same day should do puja with a pure heart as per my order whoever does so their family will attain all comforts and will remain happy on the chaturthi day of the waning moon that falls between december 15 and january 14 one should get up in the early morning and take bath call a brahmana for ganapati puja should not eat anything thinking that brahmana to be ganapati do puja to him with bermuda or dhruva grass again at night nine take bath make an idol of ganapati with gold or other metal or with pearl or from the wood of the ark shrub or with sand tell mantra and invoke him on it putting flowers showing dup deep do puja to it after that do puja to the moon in his crown after that do puja to the brahmana then serve him good and tasty food for eating do like this for every chaturthi and at the end of a year the fasting should be completed put anadan for 12 brahmanas in this matter no one should spend money for their own benefit selfishly draw ashtathala padmam which will be like lotus flower petals over that keep a kalash 
invoke vigneshwara in that show doop deep and do homa while doing puja put anadan to two married women and two brahmacharis keep awake the whole night playing music and celebrate the function put mantra pushpa pray with love and ask him all what you desire next day morning pray again when i do puja you should come again saying so immerse the idol in water all the desires of the people who do this puja will be attained with devotion do this puja with red sandal and white akshata upachara all what is desired will be fulfilled all obstacles and worries will go away people belonging to any varnashrama women and kings who want to win over enemies can do this said lord shiva all did puja to gananada player and pray to him on seeing the rise of a sun attained parvati devi became so happy her happiness could not be expressed in words by anybody at that time devalok music instruments were played devas shard flowers all the worlds were fulfilled with happiness